but a little bit of a nuisance. Here's Michelle with all the details on how much longer this is going to last. Well, you know, we're seeing some of these light snow showers this morning already from Providence and points out the temperatures are above freezing. It's kind of a non issue, but as you travel further inland, you're running into a few slippery spots, and that's why we're under an alert this morning. Let's take a look at what we are tracking, and you can see some of this light snow crossing Rhode Island right now. If you're traveling up 95, windshield wipers turned on here. This is mostly going to melt as it hits the pavement along the east and west bays and then south county. But again, as you travel inland, particularly north and west of 295. It's a different scenario. We've had a little dusting of snow on untreated roads, and that can create some slippery travel conditions. Same goes as you make your way up to Boston, especially if you're taking any of those secondary roadways. Our threat tracker, I have it briefly elevated this morning. Again, this is a minor event, but one that's creating some slippery travel conditions for the morning drive. By afternoon, just plain old rain showers for us, and they'll continue into the night. We're already up above freezing, as I mentioned, into Providence, New Bedford, and Newport, mid and upper 30s. And how about Westerly, already at 42? 30 degrees, though, in Smithfield, 27 in Willimantic, and Worcester still at a cold 22 degrees. So some light drizzle freezing on contact with the ground there. And so some slippery conditions likely as you travel inland across southern New England this morning. So watch for that. Our North Kingstown camera overcast skies. We're going to keep things cloudy through the morning. Some additional just a lighter rain showers possible during the day today. In fact, a second batch coming through here in the afternoon and evening. By that point, the temperatures, as you can see, are well up above freezing. Warm front is approaching as that front continues to swing through. We'll see this first batch of snow showers mostly tapering off. This is at 11 o'clock in the morning. So pack your umbrella for the afternoon and evening as some additional showers are possible. Then watch what happens overnight. Now at this point, water temperatures again still above freezing. This is at 11 o'clock. Snow can find a well northern New England as additional rain showers and some of them may be briefly heavy pass through here in the pre-dawn hours of your Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon mainly dry little break of sun here and there, but can't rule out an additional rain or snow shower trying to pinwheel through as our storm system departs for this afternoon to keep the umbrella handy mid 40s in Charlestown 44 in Hope Valley a cloudy and damp in Coventry at 43 42 in Burrowville and we'll see some light showers and some mist in Fall River New Bedford and Seekonk their rain showers and we'll see that for the evening as well the temperatures won't change much this evening and overnight about 41 degrees at 11 o'clock in your seven day forecast here so low 40s today we do make it a few degrees warmer tomorrow with a milder start 8 a.m. temperature around 40 41 degrees that 36 degree low that's a Wednesday late evening and night. In fact, early Thursday morning, keep an eye on the temperatures and the potential for any slippery spots. If we get a shower around here later Wednesday afternoon, Thursday looks dry, breezy, mix of sun and clouds, 35 cold conditions. Friday, Saturday, all eyes on the end of the week at already a lot of buzz about an offshore storm and I say the majority of our computer models this morning have trended further south and not closer to us, but I'm not going to write this thing off yet. We'll continue to keep an eye on it for you. We'll have to watch and see how close it comes as it develops uh, off the southeastern U.S. coastline by the end of the week. You'll want to get the latest.